You can configure settings for individual IP or analog cameras on the Exact Vision Camera Setup page. To get to the camera setup page for a camera, drill down on the configuration tree on the left side of the screen or simply right click on any live camera image and follow the instructions. You will see live video from the camera while on the camera setup page so you know you're working with the right camera and you can see any changes you make as you implement them. Information about the camera such as IP address, firmware version, resolution image or frame rate, average image size of each video frame and the recording mode will be listed next to the live video screen. It's a good idea to give cameras individual names so they're easier to manage in the configuration and live video list. The camera name will not appear on the live video unless you check off the name in the on-screen display section. Here you can also choose to display the time, time zone listed as TZ and date. You can also choose the font attributes to be used and where it will be displayed on the video panel. The PTZ control section allows you to make changes to and even program the presets of PTZ cameras. You can also program digital PTZ presets for any camera. More information on PTZ controls will be available on a separate training video. The video settings area allows you to make changes to the camera that will affect the way the camera's video is displayed and recorded. You can use the video mask feature to block out certain areas of video that you do not want to have displayed. A privacy box is placed over this area. If an area is grayed out, it cannot be controlled or changed from the Exact Vision client. The format box in the record settings section allows you to select the compression format for the camera. Exact Vision supports JPEG, MPEG, and H.264 compression formats. The quality slider bar gives you the ability to increase or decrease the visual and recorded quality of the video, which increases or decreases the average image size of the camera as listed next to the live video panel above. Moving the quality slider control to the right increases the video quality, but it also increases the average image size. Moving the slider control to the left decreases image quality as well as the average image size. The default quality setting is 8. The pre-motion slider adjusts the number of seconds of video that are saved before the motion event occurs. For example, if pre-motion video is set to 5, when you play back motion video from that camera, you will see 5 seconds of video that was recorded before the motion event occurred, followed by the motion event itself. The camera setup page is where you set the motion detection setting for the camera. This will be covered in a separate video regarding motion detection.